What's up everybody, hope you guys have a great day today. My name is Shiv and today I'm excited to show you guys a concept in front-end engineering called intersection observing. So before I explain what it is, let's show you a live example. So here's this website called fairplexis.pro. I did not create this website. I'm not sponsored by them in any way. I just wanna show you an example of intersection observers. So as you notice, as I start scrolling on this website, we'll start to see content start animating in right just like so and I want to explain to you how this is done and let's build this ourselves. so I created a small demo here I basically have three sections in here and it, you notice every time I scroll into a section we're gonna see a different animation going on section 2 section 3 when I scroll back into the section it animates again so here we're using the intersection observer API that's built into JavaScript to accomplish this so how it works is first and foremost, let's look at the HTML. We have a container with three sections, pretty straightforward. And then in my CSS, I've given each section a particular height of 235 pixels with a position relative. And each section has its own background color. And then the P tags that are inside each section is positioned absolutely. And then just positioned fixed horizontally and vertically. So it's in the center of the screen using uh, transform translate minus 50%. And then I also set the opacity to zero by default, and I'm giving all of it a transition of one second all. That way when we actually add animations, it'll actually animate. And then I have this show class here that sets the top to 50% because by default, I'm setting the top to 90%. So it's actually gonna show up down here somewhere. But when it sets to 50%, it'll make it in the middle of the screen. That's what gives that sort of animation from going bottom to middle. So now I'm gonna show you how to accomplish this in code. And as a follow-up, I'm gonna also make a video on how to build an intersection observer from scratch, as this is also a common front-end engineering interview question, but that's for another video. So let's delete our code. And now first thing we wanna do is we wanna actually reference all the P tags. So we'll say document.query selector all p this will get all of our p tags from our page and do we want to iterate through it so we'll say for each element now for each element what we want to do is we want to start observing it so we'll we'll define this in a moment we'll say, we'll say observer dot observe element just like so. So let's define this observer now. So we'll say const observer equals to new intersection observer. And this returns us a list of entries. And in here, we want to iterate through the entries. So we'll say entries dot for each entry. And each entry comes with an is intersecting method that provides whether or not that particular element is intersecting within the visible document that's on the current screen. So we'll say if entry dot is intersecting like so, then we'll do stuff. Otherwise we'll do some other stuff. So here we'll do entry dot target dot class list dot add show if it's intersecting and if it's not intersecting let's remove it oops if i run this it works as expected so when we scroll to the first section or we don't do anything it it shows up and then same thing with the second section and the same thing with the third that's pretty much it. You can apply this to any sort of element on your page, animate it any way you wish. If you guys found this video helpful, consider subscribing and pressing the like button below. With that, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Thanks, bye.